Creed is a film that has nothing to do with assassins or a rock band, but is the seventh installment in the Rocky franchise and is hands down one of the best boxing films of the past decade. I would even say the best and confidently so because it's a movie that deals in the Rocky universe, but we're looking at it from an outsider's point of view and where Michael B. Jordan is playing Adonis Creed. He's coming in as an outsider into Philly and he wants the legendary Rocky to train him, but he wants to make a name for himself even though he knows he's living in the shadow of the great. Apollo Creed, who is his father. So let's get into the good, the very good, the bad, and everything in between about Creed, which for starters, you need to know that there are six other Rocky movies. Five and six, you can possibly just Wikipedia and get the plot from, but one, two, three, and four are amazing films that you need to watch, but more so are also movies that are referenced consistently in Creed. And as we know, in 2015, there have been a lot of franchises that have come out with a new installments, Jurassic World, Spectre, Mad Max Fury Road, even Terminator Genesis to some, that have really tried to embody everything that's come before it. This movie tells you to put all those in a zip file and bury it because this does it better than any of those. It knows exactly when to use the theme. It knows exactly when to, you know, make reference to characters. It uses the nostalgia perfectly, and I'm telling you, is the best way to make another installment to a franchise. And of course, this is building up to have many more sequels that'll be titled Creed, Roman Numeral. And this is interesting because while it has Rocky, and it is part of the Rocky franchise, this is the origin story to Creed. So when Rocky VI comes out and people are like, hey, let's go look at the original, they're gonna look at Creed from this year, from 2015 which interestingly enough also has another origin which is Rocky from the 70s so it's a franchise within a franchise and it's a really cool spin-off because many times you have these studio films that suffer from the fact that the filmmakers behind the camera don't have that passion but Ryan Coogler who did Fruitvale Station which also had Michael B. Jordan before he even filmed a shot a frame of that movie had pitched the idea for Creed and the man oozes with passion as he directs this film because again with the nostalgia factor he knows when to use it and when not to overdo it and he's able to really create this origin story for Creed. He's able to understand that it needs to be a bit more urban, more technological, but at the same time be able to do things such as have it be a sports movie, that football movies, boxing movies. They always have that moment where you know how it's going to be. They either pass the ball. How many different ways can you show somebody punching another person? But this man does a long take in a match, and I mean the whole match is one long take without any cuts that gets the fighters, the coaches, and the audience reactions, and it's beautiful. There's even a point in the third act where he could just play a sound and it has you going, yes, I feel so pumped. There's even a freeze frame, a Fight Club type freeze frame that he shows you, and it just invigorates you just like it does the characters on the screen, which speaking of, you have Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan does a phenomenal job in this movie because he is the spitting image of Apollo Creed. The dude is ripped, and sure, he does have that anger in him that is very much just like the character that we saw him play in Fruitvale Station, but he he, he does an, an amazing job in this movie. Alongside with him is Sylvester Stallone, who a lot of people don't realize, the man has either written or directed this whole franchise, excluding this one, but a lot of other franchises. He's been nominated for Best Actor, and this dude, I'm not saying he should be Best Supporting Actor, but man, does he get to you in this movie. Now, as much as I love this movie and I definitely want everybody to go watch it, I always got to pick out the bad because it's not a perfect movie. There are definitely many moments where they try to urbanize it and sometimes it doesn't work. Like trying to have technological jokes like, oh, it's in the cloud. The clouds? That joke has been done to death so many times. I also personally can't take it serious when someone is trying to have a serious conversation or a discussion, you know, they're arguing with each other and they go, why can't you keep it 100 with me? And it's like, are they gonna throw emoticons at each other? And with this being an origin story, it does rely heavily on building up the relationship between Creed and the love interest that he has, in which case, this being, you know, Creed's version of Rocky One, she ain't no Adrian, I guess that's the best way to put it. It's not that she's a bad character, they do make her very interesting, but there are several moments where I realized she's not really living up to that amazing counterpart that I think she could be. And I think there were several moments where I was sort of on his side just going, dude, just forget her, go on with your life, she's not that important. Whereas in Rocky, you never go, Rocky, leave Adrian. No, you're like, yo, Adrian, stay with them, stay together. Overall though, I think it is a great installment to the Rocky franchise, a great origin story, and I can't wait to see because they have so much to do with the upcoming sequels that they'll be coming out with Creed. By the end credits, I would say that Creed is definitely worth watching in theaters at that combo price. However, as always, I'm curious your thoughts if you were able to check it out definitely let me know down below in the comment section what you thought about the movie what your favorite rocky movie still is while i really enjoy creed nothing is ever going to beat rocky 2 for me rocky 2 is just phenomenal we can discuss this movie and any others down below in the comment section and don't forget 
Comment, like, and subscribe so you can yell out, Yo, Adrian, I did it! Keep watching movies, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.